Hey guys, it's Anne here, and today, since it's July 31st, it's Harry Potter's birthday. So since it's Harry, Potter birth Harry Potter's birthday, I decided I'll be doing the ultimate Harry Potter tag. This tag is consists of 30 questions, and I don't actually know who created it. I don't put it in the description, I'll find out, I'll put it in the description, um, since 30 questions. Ah, uh, let's get started. First, favorite book, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I don't know, I just have a soft spot for that book. Maybe it's because Cedric Diggory, but like, I don't know. Could be, could be. At least here, book, Order of the Phoenix. Um, it's, more, it's still a really good book, but it's my least favorite. I don't know. And it actually, a lot of people's least favorite book, but it's still a really good book. Favorite movie? Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is hard. Uh, Deathly Hallows. I don't can't decide between part one and part two. I mean, I'm just gonna count them as like one movie because indeed it's one book. So just because it's part one, part two, I'm just gonna count it as one movie. These favorite movie, again, kind of Order of the Phoenix. I mean, I like this a lot less than I like the books. I know, I just, I mean, it's still, it's still a really good book. But I don't like the movie, I don't, I don't know, I'm just strange. Favorite quote, I really like, um, it, the happiness can be found, only be found if you tend, if, ah, I know this. Harry Phoenix can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to tend the light. That was always like one of my favorite quotes. So, easily, Fred and George, like, hello, they're Fred and George. I mean, you can't just say George, you can't just say Fred. They're free together. Just because J.K. Rowling separated them doesn't mean that we can. It doesn't mean that we can. It doesn't. Favorite female character, well, I'm not gonna count Hermione because, like, she's, she's awesome and. But, <laughs> apart from Hermione, uh, I can't really like <laughs> Luna. I do like Luna. I don't know, she's just, she's just like, she's Luna. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Favorite male character. Favorite male character. Again, the Weasley twins. <laughs> I can't choose one. Maybe Cedric. I like Cedric. I do. The only act of Hufflepuff person presentation, like, and you only basically lost it a book and like a half if you count the Quidditch match in Prisoner of Azkaban. Professor, obviously McGonagall. She's, she's, she's just. I don't. Would you rather wash Nate's hair or spend a day in, in, in Lockhart ramble about himself? Lockhart. Like, I could. I think I could just make that work. Like, mm -hmm, yes, you are very pretty and oh my gosh yes I congratulate you on winning which weekly's the most charming smile award for the fifth time yes um, can I have your autograph now <laughs> and I, just, I think it can make that work like I think I would do not fancy washing Snape's hair so you rather do an elated Bellatrix or an angry Molly I'm taking Bellatrix because I don't know angry Molly just Scares me more. Rather to real to Hogwarts via Hogwarts Express or flying car. Hogwarts Express. It's just basically because the atmosphere is just a lot. Like broomstick or hippogriff? Mm. I think hippogriff. Is there a character you felt differently in the books, uh, in the movies, and in, in the books? And yeah, I think Ginny. I don't know. I just really downplayed her character, and she was really cool in the books, but. I don't know what they did to her in the movies that they just she just made her feel a lot weaker, kind of, and like like a damsel in distress, like and she needs Harry to save her and all that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like the damsel in distress character. Is there a movie you prefer to the book? Not really, no. Richard Harris and Michael Gambon as Dumbledore. I actually think that they both made great Dumbledores, so I can't decide. Like I can't. I don't think I can. They were both really awesome Dumbledores, and. I can't, I can't really say that one of them did a better job as a Dumbledore. I mean, I think they, they both were really, really great Dumbledores. Your top thing, personal event, that was in, it's in the movie that you wanted the most. Well, it was that part in Half-Blood Prince. Uh, you know, the whole uh, thing that Ginny was like, if you get for slogging done and uh, the best kiss you ever had was run down to mural and stuff. I just, I really liked that part. Um, that wasn't in there. No, that wasn't. Uh, also in Old of Phoenix, the, is the truth you called Professor Umbridge a liar? And, and so, and have biscuit powder. I love that one. Uh, I also wanted, uh, Dobby, more Dobby in it. Cause like, like, instead of Neville in Goblet of Fire, it was Dobby that gave him the gillyweed and stuff. I wanted more Dobby as well. Like, I can't just choose one of these things. I wanted them all. 
could remake uh, any Harry Potter movie, which one would it be? <clears throat> I'd probably go to the Phoenix. I mean, I don't know if I can make it better than it was. I mean, I, it still was a good movie, but it's my least favorite, and maybe I could change that. But, I mean, overall, I'm really happy with the movies, so I don't think I really would kind of go change them. I don't know. This was your first gut feeling that you'd be a part of Ravenclaw. I mean, I'm pretty smart. And I don't know, I was kind of with, like, the whole... Basically, I, first of eliminations, I was like, Hufflepuffs are, like, the weak ones that no one likes. And then Gryffindors are, like, the crazy, and so was Slytherin and the evil ones. I was... It would just basically went with the stereotypes, and then, you know, I realized that I wouldn't be in Hufflepuff, which has to be actually sort of in a funnel, Hufflepuff, and, or other sorting quiz. I mean, I always kind of got sort of in Hufflepuff, and then I'm like, this can work, I see myself, and then, they are actually really cool people, Hufflepuffs, you know, we are cool people, like, and now every time, like, do you still, if you're a Hufflepuff, you know this, whenever anyone asks you, what's your house, and then you're like, Hufflepuff, they just give you like, oh, a look. My gosh, half a puff, and I'm just like, I'm giving them a death glare. I give them a death glare. I don't know. It's because they would really are cool people. Like, I mean, Cedric kind of would have won if that thing at the end of Goblet of Fire did not happen. I mean, well, you would have tied with Harry. I mean, if Harry wasn't in the Triwizard Tournament or anything, then then there would be a normal Triwizard Tournament. Maybe things would have been differently, but. It sort of probably would have won. <laughs> what else would be your favourite? Um, charms. I, I really like charms. Uh, I mean, I just think it'll be useful just to like wave your wand and make stuff happen. Like, hello, Hamora. I won't need to carry my keys. I could summon things when you're too lazy to actually get up and get them yourself. I mean, you, there's like all these other really cool spells and stuff. So, also maybe Herbology comes in a close second. I think. I don't know. I just. I think I have a sort of green thumb for like the first week. What do you think it would be more useful to learn? Again, uh, Alehamora or Akio, the summoning charm. Which uh, character do you think you'd instantly become friends with? Hermione or Luna? I don't know, because like, I kind of have a bit of them. I'm kind of a cross between them, I think. Kind of one of the three halos, which one would it be? Uh, the invisibility cloak. What? <laughs> you could just have so much fun with it. Like, you can sneak around places. You can spy on people. Like, not that I'm saying that that would be very wise to do, but well, you don't, you, no one sees you, so like. Is there any aspect of the book that you would change? No, except for maybe extend 19 years later. Like, <laughs> because to like have another book in that 19 years later chapter. <laughs> That count is changing something in the book because I want to see some. I want to see like a Harry Potter sequel or a prequel. I would also like survive with a prequel, but I want to see what goes on with Albus Severus and Lily Luna and I ship Scoros. So I want to see if that happens. I want to see if that happens. Favorite Marauder, um, Moon. I like Remus. I like Remus. Uh, and I also really like Padfoot. So, but I think I connect more with Remus because I'm also that like that really good girl, smart. I mean, like, good girl, smart thing. Like, I think probably Remus. So, Remus, probably. Uh, I also really like Sirius. I, I don't know. I just like, I like, I like everything about Harry Potter. <laughs> you can bring one character back to life. I just want to be a Fred. Fred Weasley. Like, he makes George happy. He can make a family. He, he, he's just, so, he's so different that he has to die. I also really kind of want to, would say, Tonks or Remus, I mean, uh, but then they'd have to. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would be kind of better for Teddy, but like, I don't know. I just want to, I'm so about to die. I'm okay with Voldemort, death, and everything. I would also want to say Cedric, because again, he could have done stuff, and <laughs> I don't want to bring everyone back to life. Uh, finally, question 30 How does Volcroxes? Hallows! 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 I can just become the master of death with them. Like, I mean, I like the sound of that. And I'm not really 